Welcome back. From its source in Uganda to its mouth in Egypt, Africa's longest river is under threat. Climate change, pollution and human misuse piling pressure on the Nile, a critical resource for millions of people. Michael Badecki reports. Asad Magumba has spent much of his working life fishing on Lake Victoria, the world's second largest freshwater lake and the main source of the mighty Nile River. He used to be able to earn a good livelihood from the fishing trade, but competition has grown by leaps and bounds over the years. But he also says the river is no longer as productive as it used to be. Its flow has fallen from 3,000 cubic meters per second to about 2,800 in the past 50 years, according to the UN. The drop in water levels is attributed to wetland degradation, the cutting down of forests for timber, and the expansion of farmland. Overuse by humans is also straining the natural resource. The confluence of these factors has caused the Nile's fish stocks to plummet. We are having urban settlements, Jinja City, uh, Kampala City, Entebbe, Kisomo, Homa Bay, all through East Africa. Very big cities, increasing population. So we talk of pollution, we are polluting the lake, much more than probably the lake can handle. Research conducted by some environmental organizations also shows factories built near the shorelines are discharging harmful substances into water bodies. This wastewater channel flows from leather tanneries operating just meters away from the Nile. The highly polluted effluent is discharged directly into the river without proper treatment and residents here say the dirty water is killing fish and destroying breeding grounds. Fishing communities here worry the contaminated water may be behind the reduced fish stocks. They claim some fish species have vanished. This has forced some fishermen to adopt new techniques like cage fish farming to try and save their livelihood. I took a look at the side of the Munya and the Vinaya to talk about Anga Mokumi Billy, one so good demavica, at a Vichara Vica. Gautulunda, Ogendo Kula Mukaj, your sovereign for a moving and a tiny Billy, tiny sat, tiny tan of Mukajem. Gate, Orumo, side desert in Mukvova, twelve of Anganga to Sola Kunga and your centers are one, no garment in Ezek to Novoka Dabium Rondi Gum, Kariate, no sovereign to Novoka de Chikumi and Rondi Gutia, Murondi Gumo. But the fish farms too are not immune to the industrial pollution that spews harmful nutrients into the water. These nutrients attract aggressive water weeds like the hyacinth, which is known to degrade the integrity of freshwater systems. Unless we have proper interventions, we, are, we, are, we have started a good journey of killing the lake. Because it is a freshwater lake, but it can be killed. It can become salty if there is too much pollution into it. The UN predicts the flow of water through the Nile is likely to fall 70% by the end of the century. No thanks to a warming climate which is causing extended dry spells. The resulting water shortages are likely to affect agriculture and electricity production and worsen the living conditions of millions who rely on the river for survival. Michael Balekesien A, Ginger, Central Uganda.